our message is about a Christian uh, virtue, which we call as contentment. Contentment, a needed virtue. It's First Peter 3.15, it says, always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you. Always be ready to give a defense. When we show contentment, even at difficult times, we are encouraging our brothers and our sisters. We are saying, hey, you know, this is what happened. This is how it went. And you encouraged, you are moved to say, yes, I must hold on to that faith that, that, that God puts into my heart. So we need to be encouragers of God's faith towards a believer, towards a brother and a sister. John 15, 11, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. So we overflow with joy because of who God is. We overflow with, with that knowledge of, of his reality. And that is why we can be content. That's why we should be pursuing contentment. Philippians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. Not that I speak in regard to need for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I have learned both to be full and be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Isn't it strange that someone in prison can write about contentment? You are in bondage, you are in slavery, but through it, he's saying, I am content. I think that's a, an amazing testimony. That's an amazing testimony that we need to look at. How can we emulate what Paul has done? Philippians 4 verse 8, it says, whatever things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there's any virtue and, uh, and is, there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. He said, if there is anything that is good, meditate on it. Colossians chapter 2 verse 3, it says, set your mind on things above. So it's something that we do very, very consciously to be able to think of, of good things because where you choose to focus on makes a radical difference of the experience of your heart. Where you choose to focus on makes a radical difference about the experience of your heart. So the more that you think of that good thing in all of that which is not content, you move into a greater, uh, greater place of contentment. Amen? Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. It says, He made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant, coming to the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Isaiah 53, 3 says it this way. He says, he was acquainted with sorrows. He was a man of sorrows. He was a man of grief. He was a man stricken. So do you and I ever think that what you and I are going through can ever match what Jesus went through? No church. Not at all. Because what he did, he did out of complete contentment. Because there was a greater joy. What is the joy? That you and I would be with him. And that was his joy. And that was the contentment that he had as he went on the cross. Mm -hmm.